Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to replace the top cover on a Dell Latitude 5520 laptop. The Dell Latitude 5520 is one of a new series of Latitudes that used a silver paint, which had tons of problems. As you can see in the picture here, this is just one of ones we've seen. The paint, they had a problem obviously with their paint process. You look at it and the paint falls off. So, we're going to show you how to change the cover. Now there are other alternatives here. You could try repainting it or you could put a cover skin on it. We actually use cover skins too and we'll, follow, we'll go over that in a separate video. But we're going to replace the cover. Put a new one on it because it is ugly. Tools you'll need, a Phillips screwdriver and a flat, <coughs> a flat pry tool. We use one shown here in the picture. You could use anything that's similar and you'll see in a minute why you got to have that. Okay. Again, the objective here is to replace this ugly cover. This is a problem on uh, all the silver, like the 54, 10, 20, and 30, 55, 10, 20, and 30. Obviously, uh, some issues. You can see it even does it on the bottom. Okay, to replace this top cover, first thing you got to do is take off the bottom. So you flip it upside down and undo the screws that hold the bottom cover. Uh, on the laptop assembly. This is the first time you got to use this pry tool. You got to be really careful because it's just snap fit on there at this point now that you've loosened the screws, but it is very easy to break one of these plastic tabs. So we try to get it like into the corner there and just easily, don't force it, just start it to go and then work, you can then work your way around the edge just prying up very carefully you can see how we're doing that just very carefully and finally you'll get to a point where it'll pop right off it's held on by little plastic tabs you don't want to break those tabs so that you can reassemble this properly okay now I'm gonna start disassembling things I'm gonna take off the uh, disassemble the screen assembly see where these screws are located at that we're taking off Those screws uh, hold the screen assembly in place. There's a bunch of other hardware here that's got to come off. You can see where we're going right there. Take those screws off. A little uh, assembly bracket will come off. And then you got to undo the Wi-Fi card. There's a little bracket on top of that. Another bracket right there. And now we're going to peel back some tape. The whole objective here is you got to get everything unassembled so that you can get this screen out of there. There's a assembly you pull up and there's the Wi-Fi card. You unhook the antenna wired. You just snap off. Okay, now we've got everything off to the point where we can, there the assembly comes right off. So now you've got the screen assembly off which is the top cover is the bottom of that screen assembly so you kind of picture exactly what you did here because you're going to do it all in reverse but we've uh, tried to minimize the amount of things we had to take apart okay now the next thing we're going to do is we've got to get this little bezel off of the screen and again it's a pry tool and very careful there's no screws it's just pries up and just be real careful. You got to work your way around just like that with a pry tool. The idea is to make sure that it uh, it doesn't um, don't you don't break anything. Okay, and again, going very carefully around this assembly. Just want to be real careful that we don't break any of the plastic tabs and you can just if you go slow and you'll feel them unsnap in your hand and again it's a, there's no screws at this point it's held in completely with a snap fit that's just the the plastic bezel that surrounds the screen that uh, keeps it all the stuff the wires all hidden 
You work your way all the way around it. And when you get to the end, you'll have that bezel assembly in your hand. You can see how that's coming off. We're gonna, when you go to put it back on, it's going to be just done in reverse. You're going to put it down and push to snap all of these. You can see we're running the tool along the bottom there. Along the bottom of it to break it loose. Just run it real gently. I'll get the, uh, there's some glue on that. That's what we're breaking through already at that point. There'll be enough stick left in it that you'll be able to put it back down and it'll reassemble. And once we get it into position here, we can pull it up and there it comes. So again, we'll set that aside. We're getting close. Now we just got to get the screen itself out of this housing. So there's a couple of screws in the corners. Disassemble those screws. We're trying to get the screen assembly out so all that's left is the top cover. Next are these uh, hinges. Oh, there's some tabs up there. So you're going to be able to pull the screen right back like that. Um, you can see we're close now. Kind of work your way around with those wires and they'll all come out and they're taped down so you can follow the pattern there and unplug those and then pry up on uh, the connectors where they're snapped into the electrical connect basically just disconnecting everything and now you've got that whole assembly disconnected and the screen is off so now we're down to just the cover and the antenna wires and the hinges. So a screw takes off the right hinge and a screw for the left hinge. And now you got a bunch of wires, the Wi-Fi antenna wires. They're held down um, some little tabs that uh, hold them in place. So you just bend them back and get the wire out of the position. Pry them up if they're glued down a little bit. Just pry the glue up. Again, you're just uh, your objective is to get all that stuff out of there, and we're going to put a new cover in its position. So pry on the end of the assembly there. We'll get that last piece up. You can see it all comes up just by prying. So the little pry tool is an important thing to have. So kind of a funny looking fingernail file almost. Okay, there it is. There's the nasty cover. We get rid of it. And the next part of this process is to reverse it. And we're going to take a brand new shiny cover. Brand new cover. And reassemble it. So the first going to do everything in reverse so the parts that we took out of the raw cover were going down first they'll just snap in place press down and the glue fit see they just you locate them just like you took them out and then reroute the wires underneath the little tabs the cover that we bought had little tabs built in. I, I don't know that they all do that. You may have to tape them down. But the idea is to get the wires back in the location they were at uh, so they don't interfere with anything later on. So they're just taped down to the covers. And there we go. We get that thing all rerouted. All rerouted and secured. And then we're going to be ready.
ready to slide the screen assembly. Oh, we got to put the uh, screen assembly in. We, we left the connector on it there, so you got to put that connector back where it, you took it off from, uh, right across the front there. That'll snap right into place. Just make sure the electrical connections all stayed plugged in. There's there they have glue on the bottom so you can kind of route them right back there. There's usually a little picture on the inside there where you, it tells you exactly where to trace those wires. And as soon as you got that in place, now you can slide the. Now there's a latch down in the front corners there where you located on those two tabs on the right front and left front corners, and then roll it up into position right there at the top you gotta make sure those wires are fished in good and then replace the screws that you earlier um, took out these hinges are a little tricky here you gotta figure out which one's the left and which is the right if you didn't keep track of them to start with um, let's see we figure out which one's which here. We're giving you this unedited. <laughs> Those hinges will just go on the end of the bracket once we figure out which is the left and which is the right. They are different. There we go. That's the one on that end. And you'll recall that we had that held in place with a screw and a second screw. A third screw. So both of those go in similar. And we now assemble the screws into that one. Now these brackets push them out of the way while we get this bezel on. Now this bezel, remember you had to unsnap it. Now you're going to just go around the perimeter, push it down. It'll just snap into place. And little plastic tabs all the way around the side. Just work your thumbs all the way around it. Don't worry about that back end. You notice between the two hinges there, we didn't push that all the way down. Later on, you'll get a better angle at that. Just got the thing held in position now. Now we're going to locate it on the, on the main assembly. Put a couple of screws in it. put that over the edge of the bench it uh, seems to work nice okay now we've got it uh, semi back together and let's put this other screws remaining screws that we had taken out in, in one of our first uh, disassembly steps and we're going to put those in And then route these wires. There's a little channel there that they should see how we're doing that. They should slip right down into a little channel. And then it'll fold over and hold in place. I'll do the same thing on the other side. We have to uh, push on the leads for the antenna. They snap onto the Wi-Fi card. You get them right in position. They just snap on. Well, sometimes they're a little tricky if you got big fingers. We route that cable around, 
you know, the bracket that goes over the Wi-Fi card to hold those antenna pieces in place. And this bracket that we took off earlier. And a couple of screws on that side that we took off earlier. Now we put the base base on. Assemble it with its screws. And we're getting close. About a 15 minute job. The, well, maybe the, if you're doing it just once, it might take you half an hour. But this um, this is one way to fix that cover, ugly cover. And uh, now, there you go. It looks pretty good now. Okay. That wraps it up. We took that ugly cover that you saw at the beginning and replaced it with a brand new cover. This could be a little tricky, but if you follow the steps, you can do this. You can do this. Fred from the Laptop Barn here. I'll put any uh, supporting material down below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, like it. Leave us a comment. Uh, we continuously put out tips and tricks for our laptop um, customers. We have a store on, the, on eBay, the Laptop Barn. Uh, if you're ever in the market for some uh, laptop uh, accessories or laptops. Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.